All right, this is the video solution for chapter five, exercise six from Zach's VB.net programming course. And I'm starting on my desktop because we are starting with an existing um, solution. So for my class, it is available in your LMS as a zip file. You can right click on that and extract all. And it gives you this. And then we're going to open it up. All right, here it is. This is what it looks like. And the user enters two numbers and there's three different ways that we're going to populate this number list. So uh, we're starting with the for next. So double click on that brings me to the event handler for this. Um, oh, and they already give us the from and the to, and they already clear the box for us. That's really nice. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a for next loop and I fully admit I'm not very good at loops. So I'm, I'm going to hit control K X. So that's two different buttons, right? KX while control is being held down. And that brings up the snippets. All right. And yep, I want a code pattern. So I hit enter. I'm using my um, up and down arrows to navigate through this. Um, I want a condition and loop. Yep. And I want a for next loop. Okay. Here we go. We have our for next loop. So I'm going to say for I as integer, and I is going to start at int from, and it's going to go to int two. And that is the, the basis of my, my loop here. So I'm going to do uh, LST numbers dot items dot add I dot to string. Remember list items are a list of strings. This is LST, not the number one. Okay. Um, so that I think looks pretty good. Let's see if this works. From two to six, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So the one other thing we need to do is only display this when from, and I got to read this is less than two. All right. So I'm going to say if the way the book probably wants us to do it. Int from is less than int two. Then do all this stuff. And if. Okay. So the book specifically says display the numbers only when the from box is less than the two box. Otherwise, leave it empty. All right. So that was um, part part A. One way to do this. All right, let's look at the next way to do it. We're going to use a do loop with a pretest. So the test is going to be in the beginning. And let's just start with the if int from is less than int to then. All right, because we need to do this for all three of these loops. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take this one and pop it down here as well. Okay, so same thing. I need a code pattern. I need a condition and a loop, and I need a do loop with the test in the beginning. So I'm going to do do while, and I'm going to do this while what? Well, I need a counter. So I'm going to say dim i as integer, and this is going to start with or start at int from. And we're going to do this while i is less than int 2, because that's as far as we're going up to. Actually, it's going to have to be, no, I'm going to leave it like this. This is wrong, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it like this. And then again, lst numbers dot items dot add, and I'm adding i dot to string. All right, this isn't really wrong, but it's still wrong. I'll show you why. Because remember, before we did 2 to 6, right? And our for next populated 2 to 6, but my do loop. Uh oh, put me in an infinite loop. Okay, so why did it put me in an infinite loop? So I can just hit the right stop up here 
that'll stop it. Um, put me in an info loop because we never incremented i. So i plus equals one. Make sure i moves up. This is still wrong, but that's okay. We're gonna correct it. Uh, two, six. It gives me two, three, four, five. We're missing six, right? The four next worked, the do did not. The reason is I said, do this until i is less, or while i is less two, in this case, six. So as soon as it hits six, it stopped and it didn't do this stuff. So less than or equal to. By the way, this is part B. So now two, six, two, three, four, five, six. Great. <clears throat> and finally, part C. You need to um, do the loop with the test at the end. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. I'm going to do it from scratch, but you could take your code up here, copy it, and then move some things around. But I'm going to write everything from scratch. So dim i as integer equals int from. That's where we're starting. And control k x for a snippet. I'm going to hit down to get to code patterns. Hit down again for conditional and loops. And I want a... Oh, we can do a do loop until, because we used a while at the top. So let's do an until this time. So it's going to do this um, until this thing is true. So what's that thing we're going to do? LST numbers dot items dot add I dot to string. I plus equals one. So we're um, adding one to I. That's, that's like in other languages, that's like your I plus plus. Right, but bb.net does not have that. And then we're going to do this until i is greater than int 2. Now, is it greater than or greater than or equal to? I think it's greater than um, because and we go 2 to 6. i starts at 2. We add the 2. We increment 1. Is 2 greater than 6? No. So we keep going. Eventually, we hit six, right? We add the six here. I becomes seven and seven is greater than int two. So that's when it stops. So I believe this was correct. Two, six, there we go. So all three of these buttons, they actually do something. Okay. But you just don't see any difference because it's doing all the same stuff. All right. Um, we can go six to 32. There we go. All right, so that was um, chapter five, exercise six, the numbers solution. And you know what, let's do one more thing with this number solution because there's a little maybe gotcha here when, uh, just for submitting the assignment. When we close this, um, you know, this was the, the file that we just edited, right? And if I take this folder, and I send it to a zip file. We already have a zip file here. This was the one that I downloaded from the LMS. So Blackboard, D2L, whatever. All right. So let's delete this one before taking number solution and then send to zip folder. And this is the one that you want to submit. Okay. So just make sure that you're not submitting what you originally downloaded from the LMS.